Oh yeah. Hello, everybody. It's uh, Joe, aka Nerdfist, and uh, I love video games. And today I'm playing a uh, little Punisher for uh, Nintendo. Everyone fights to control the streets. The hitman is just another fighter waiting for the Punisher's knockout. So, yeah, I really like this game. Uh, it's basically a, uh, it's basically kind of like a side-scroller, uh, rail shooter, basically. And, uh, ooh, in the window. Uh, when you, th when I think of, uh, like, awesome games from, uh, for, like, Nintendo, this is one that I don't really hear too many people talking about. And I also think it might be a, a rare game. This is a game I had when I was uh, when I was a kid. Ooh. Uh, and uh, little armor. Uh, but as an adult, I've never been able to find it. I, I, I sold it to somebody. I think at a garage sale when I was like probably like 11 years old or something. And uh, I really like to kill those uh, dudes on the saxophones, but they take a lot of your life, so. I don't, uh, I don't kill him. Uh, and also you waste a lot of bullets because you're just, <laughs> little items are hidden, uh, all over the world, so you gotta have to, you know, kind of shoot everything up looking for stuff, and you get, you know, uh, like, a higher score based on, uh, certain things. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think you could use this, or use the, uh, use the light gun with this game. Uh, but it's a really fun game, but it's really, it can be a little tricky uh, shooting the bad guys and also dodging the, dodging bullets. Because, uh, you know, where the reticle goes, that's where, kind of where the Punisher, uh, you know, swings. So, it can be uh, hard sometimes to get out of the way of uh, bullets, but it's a pretty fun game. I think the graphics for, for this, for the time, were... Uh, Actually, pretty pretty awesome. I mean, they kind of it kind of has a uh, God, what was that game uh, P O W? That was it. Uh, that kind of you know shooter. Uh, ooh, ooh. There's a uh, the go sign. It'll take us to a uh, like an extra world, uh, bonus world. Subway. And that thing right there that uh, it kind of looks like a picture of a barrel, but it's actually a uh, clip uh, ammo. Uh, there's actually a, okay uh, uh, a little bit of variety with uh, guns in this game. You got your uh, it looks like a pistol down there, but it's uh, it's supposed to be an Uzi. Uh, you can kind of tell uh, by the you know how it looks in the Punisher's hand that it's kind of a uh, little oozy. Uh, then there's grenades and there's uh, rocket launchers and uh, a machine gun. And I think I think that's it. You can also punch uh, at certain times. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember which level it is. Uh, but in some levels, people, some of the bad guys will pop up. Uh, right in front of you and try to hit you, and uh, you can punch him in the face. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be uh, it kind of be better if you could actually uh, move the Punisher independently of the uh, the little reticle thing. And I th get tore up. Uh, I want to think you might have had have uh, been able to do that if you had. Uh, I think it kind of worked like Duck Hunt, uh, like the original like old Duck Hunt game, where if you had the light gun and a uh, controller uh, plugged in at the same time, uh, you know, like somebody could you know use it to actually pilot the ducks around. Uh, and I think that you can kind of do that with this. You could use a controller to move the Punisher back and forth, and then use the light gun to. Uh, 
shoot the bad guys. I think. Don't quote me on that. It's been uh, forever since I actually played this on the uh, actual Nintendo. This is just a uh, a ROM file. Uh, I actually don't own this uh, game on Nintendo. I've never been able to find it. I actually do have a pretty pretty big uh, video game collection. But this is uh, one I've never been able to find, other than on eBay. But uh, that kind of takes the fun out of it. I like going to uh, <laughs> I like going to uh, like thrift stores, and uh, we also have a lot of um, they're not farmers markets. What are they? Uh, <laughs> The little, uh, <laughs> uh, are they farmers markets? No, farmers markets like where they sell produce. Ooh. Uh, some health. There we go. Uh, the Punisher in this game definitely is definitely the, like the, the, the 80s era Punisher. Uh, just from the, uh, you know, the look of his, uh, Look at his outfit. It's very, uh, uh, I think it's War Journal. He kind of had that, had that look. Uh, and I think there was, <clears throat> there's also a game, a Punisher game for, uh, Sega for, uh, Genesis. Uh, oh, there's the, uh, rocket launcher. Get it. Uh, but it was a, uh, a side-scrolling, uh, like, beat-em-up, kind of like, uh, uh, like Streets of Rage or something like that, uh, I don't remember liking it, uh, as much, and I want to, I want to say that I think you could also play as Nick Fury in that game, I think, because I think it was two players, and I think one was, uh, Nick Fury and the other one was the Punisher, uh, I'll have to look, I, I know I have that one on, uh, uh Genesis. But yeah, it can kind of be hard to shoot some of these guys. You really have to get the center of that like reticle right on them. Uh, I really like how the game looks. It's very, uh, uh, say like Norish, like with the the purples and uh, stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, But yeah, the one for uh, Genesis was pretty good, and then also the uh, the uh, the Punisher video game for uh, Xbox. I really liked it. Some people didn't like it, but I I, I thought it was really good. Uh, of course, that had uh, Thomas Jane uh, playing the Punisher. Uh, it was kind of kind of a little bit based on the uh, the movie, and then uh, I think it was also uh, I think it was the a little bit of the Welcome Back Frank. Storyline, but uh, I actually didn't hate the first uh, Punisher movie. Um, it was a little slow at the beginning, uh, and it was a little bit too comic booky, and it didn't really seem to capture the the character you know quite right. I mean that <clears throat> I always kind of felt that you know kind of after uh, his family gets killed, you know the Punisher pretty much you know, goes insane and, you know, kind of stops being a, a nice guy, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, kind of the way he acts, or, you know, towards most people, but, and that he kind of always, in the, the original movie, the, uh, what was it, 2004, 2005, 2004, I think, with, uh, Thomas Jane, he was a little bit too nice, uh, even though he did, you know, still kill people, uh, but he still was a little bit too nice, a little bit uh, too friendly, I think. And uh, but uh, Punisher, uh, Punisher uh, Warzone uh, was definitely a lot. Um, was a lot closer. I thought it was. You know, it's definitely the better movie. It's actually a pretty awesome movie, uh, especially for a movie directed by a girl. I mean. She <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty, pretty awesome for a chick to make a movie, you know, kind of, you know, pretty much that badass. And uh, it definitely didn't, you know, hold back on the the violence or, uh, you know, 
and stuff like that. But even in that, the Punisher was still, you know, a nice guy, but, you know, he was, uh, it was always kind of the mission first. He didn't, you know, uh, other people's problems, you know, were kind of secondary, and, uh, he kind of only got involved with them just because, you know, he, you know, kind of had to. Uh, so I'm fighting, uh, Hitman. He's in a helicopter here. Try to blow up the oh, got it. Uh, the guns under his uh, helicopter first, and then he'll start. Oh, yeah, here he goes. He'll open it up and throw <laughs> throw grenades at you. Oh, fuck! Died. This cool. I got five lives. Five five lives. Five lives. Five lives. <laughs> so, uh, I wish the grenades would go where the, the reticle is, but they just go out in front of you. It kind of, uh, it kind of sucks when you're trying to, uh, shoot somebody that's all moving around. But yeah, this was one of my favorite games when I was a, <clears throat> when, I, when I was a kid. The only bad thing about it is, is that there's no, uh, like, save function. Uh... See when I, because uh, uh, after you, you beat him, uh, beat Hitman, uh, you kind of go on to the next boss, and each, uh, you know, level off. Oh, crap. Each level is kind of uh, there's two two levels, and then a boss battle. And uh, oh, got him. So yeah, you get the screen uh, to choose uh, more bad guys, and uh, this is Jigsaw here. We put them behind bars, but we still can't control them. Gotta scatter Jigsaw's pieces. Make the system right. So I'm on a dock. Machine gun there. See all these crates, there's uh, stuff behind them. So you really waste a lot of bullets kind of checking behind everything, trying to get, you know, good score, get uh, get more stuff, more ammo, health. Uh, I'm really surprised that uh, there hasn't been more uh, Punisher games. Uh, there's pretty much only three that I know of. Uh, but there's just, you know, so much you can do with a character. I mean, I mean, because the story is really, you know, kind of really be secondary with a, you know, Punisher game. I mean, the, the Punisher is just perfect for, you know, uh, like action or even something like, uh, you know, like a Hitman game, you know, like Hitman or something like that where you can have a, kind of have a mixture of, uh, you know, a lot of gun, uh, gunplay, and uh, also uh, stealth. Even though the, you know, the Punisher, you know, I prefer the Punisher. Just the type of guy that just goes in guns blazing. You know, not really worried about you know stealth most of the time. But uh, you know, definitely in the comic books, he does he does use stealth quite a quite a bit. Uh, so it'd be perfect for a game. And I'm surprised that more, uh, you know, you know, more uh, game makers you know haven't you know. Snagged up the the license license to a you know new Punisher games. Oh crap! Because the one in uh, 2005 was really really good. Uh, you know, it had a lot of um, you know kind of uh, like little. Uh, there's a lot of you know kind of like button mashing. Uh, Moments where you you didn't you weren't actually in you know in control of uh, what the Punisher was doing, you just kind of had to you know push the button at the appropriate time. There was there was a little bit too much of that for my taste, but uh, I think it was like one of the last levels where uh, there was somebody in a uh, like a uh, like a city building and you kind of had to take out a, a bunch of guys like in the lobby of the building, kind of like kind of like in the Matrix. It was a uh, 
really good as far as, uh, you know, the gunplay and stuff like that in the game. But, uh, oh, get you, get you. And these guys, some of the, the guys, right, uh, some of these guys you're shooting, so, like that dude, I mean, he's, he kind of looks like, I don't want to say Arsenio Hall, but for some reason, every time I see him, that's what I think of. I think of, uh, like Arsenio Hall. And I don't want to shoot Arsenio Hall. I like Arsenio Hall. I really don't like that freaking, uh, the guy playing the saxophone. I really want to shoot him. We got these little frog dudes popping up, uh, in the water. It can be kind of hard to see sometimes. There you are. Get those lights. That's another kind of thing I'm sad about. I'm kind of sad that <laughs> it doesn't seem like the uh, the Punisher is kind of caught on with uh, you know, as far as movies go. Because uh, I know the first movie got a pretty you know a pretty you know a wide release, uh, but I don't think it was you know a massive you know a massive hit. I, you know it wasn't a flop, but I think you know it cost like ten million dollars, and I think it made like you know like fifty something million at the the box office. I mean, it was enough, you know, that they wanted to do a sequel, but, you know, because, you know, they couldn't come to an agreement with Thomas Jane, you know, they, you know, kind of just did a whole, like, kind of new independent movie, which was kind of a sequel, but, in the, you know, it really wasn't, because it you know, really didn't have none of the storyline from the, from the first one, and uh, they even showed his kid, you know, his family dying uh, a different way. Uh, it was definitely more like in the, uh, in the comic book where they were actually uh, looked like they were you know killed on a picnic uh, but yeah and here there's like secret stuff like all over the place I want to get that body armor uh, there's little things on the wall to shoot the wall and then also inside the cells there'll be stuff in the cells that you can shoot and you can see up there, there's a camera going back and forth. Uh, TVs, these little daily bugles, uh, kind of give you uh, tips and stuff like that. Now I was kind of, I was thinking it'd be cool, uh, you know, now that we uh, the Avenger movie came out this weekend. Uh, I wish that they could somehow do it, and I don't think that there's some body armor. Uh, it'd be really awesome. The uh, the comic book uh, I think it's called Marvel Sons, uh, S O N S, but it's kind of like the Avengers, but like all the uh, kind of like dark, you know, kind of characters like uh, uh, Ghost Rider, uh, Blade, uh, the Punisher. I think even Morbius was was part of the group. It'd be awesome to get a you know a movie of them, you know like a you know the ghost ghost rider and the Punisher you know teamed up together, but I doubt they I doubt it will because uh, I'm pretty sure they're owned by uh, different companies. Uh, and that's what really sucks is because now Marvel is you know you know really building a world where you know all the characters are existing. Um, you know, in the in the same universe, and they're you know able to you know share them you know across uh, you know different movies, but because some of the characters are owned by other companies, you can't you know. I mean, because how awesome would it have been for the you know you know Spider Man to have a small cameo in the in the Avengers, like you know helping them out you know during the city battle, or uh, or even just uh you know you know like just a shot of like the Punisher. You know, getting off, uh, you know, getting off a motorcycle when you know stuff is like going down, or you know, there's no telling, you know, the different stuff that you know could be done if they owned all the all the characters. Uh, and plus, too, I think it would be cool to you know actually get the uh, to get more of the characters, you know, kind of in you know in di in the different movies. 
Uh, you know, because uh, Punisher, he first you know did appear in a, a Spider-Man comic book. I actually have it, the first uh, par- appearance of the Punisher. Uh, and uh, I think that would be awesome for uh, you know the Spider-Man movie. Have uh, you know the the you know because the, the Punisher basically uh, was going after. Uh, Spider-Man because he he believed he was a you know a criminal like a murderer, um, and that's why he was you know you know going after him. Uh, so that would be awesome to see that in the you know new movie rather than the you know the uh, the lizard man in the new the new movie, and the lizard li- it looks so freaking so horrible in the new movie. I mean, I, just the the you know the fact that. You know, number one, there's no lab coat, <laughs> which I know is kind of small, but it just would have, you know, made it look, you know, just better. And then also his, like, face is flat. He doesn't have that kind of, uh, you know, crocodile look that he has in the, you know, the comics and stuff. So I kind of, kind of bummed about that, but. Oh, bonus grenades. So yeah, we're going to, uh fight Jigsaw here. Boom. 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 And, oh, and I'm dead. That's cool. See here, Jigsaw will pop up and uh, you can actually punch him, but if you stop to punch him, he actually does more uh, more damage to you uh, than if you just kind of you know, try to keep moving. I'm trying to dodge some of this. Pop up. Oop. Give him one. Video. Oh, see. <laughs> so it's kind of better to keep moving instead of uh, instead of punching him because he will, you know, just kind of get you right back. Oh. Yeah. Oh, get out of the way. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> I think we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Rest in peace, bitch. And uh, it kind of keeps on going. And uh, the final boss is actually the kingpin. But it takes forever to get to him. And like I said, you can't save. So, uh, but anyway, that's the Punisher. It's awesome. <laughs>